since you didn't want a beer today, at least we could cheers with a Wata Wata. Water. 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 Your what up? Welcome back to the video, guys. We are back with another topic. Uh, well, first of all, we're gonna be talking about my FXR. Today's your first time seeing it in person after I send you all the videos and pictures, mm -hmm. and then I actually let you take it out today as well. You got to ride it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you're you're old school Jerry, the coolest white guy I know. Old school Jerry, no old school bike. What'd you um? What do you think, man? And be honest, if you don't like my bike, because I know you're not crazy about my bike, but whatever, man. I know you hate it. No, it's cars. not. You know, it's not that I'm not crazy. It's it's an older bike. It's an '83 with a, a twin cam engine in it. It's just different, or whatever. My FXRs, I had an '86 and I had a 2000 FXR4. They were they were different. They ran different. Those were Evos. Yeah. This is a whole different. This is all. Like, yeah, it's a know, Custom, like you know. Yeah. It's you know, I just. Don't remember mine vibrating that much, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the, this one definitely vibrates a lot. Yeah, um, I don't know, but it's like that's like a special touch of the old bikes, man. Yeah, it's you know it's cool or whatever. You know, I'm not a big fan of that fairing. I never yeah. was. You never were, right? No, because even my '86 when I bought it was a police bike. When the guy said, "Oh, it was a police bike," I said, "Does it have that stupid fairing on it?" Because this was back in the early '90s. He's like, no, I took everything off or whatever, it's all black. So I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you, you really hated it that much? Yeah. I mean, I, I know when, when they came out, and I mean, we've spoken a few times about this on, on the channel, but uh, when the bike, when this bike originally first came out with that fairing, like, people hated it. They were oh, taking yeah. it off. Absolutely, everybody but hated it. You couldn't give them away. Yep. And now, uh, now look, it's like the biggest thing now. I know, it's a big craze. You know? Everybody wants one. I love it though, man. It's uh, I, I think it's something that I I need. I mean, you know how bad I've been wanting yeah, this I mean, specific bike. That's all that matters. As long as you love it, yeah. I don't have to love it. I don't have to like it. You know. <laughs> so you hate my bike, man? I didn't say I hate your bike. Now you put words in my mouth. I, said, I don't have to love it. It's your bike. So you don't have, you don't like my bike? It's not my cup of tea. Let's put it that way. If I was gonna do an FXR, I'd do like an FXRS or whatever. I do. You know. This this is this is originally it's it's an FXRS. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it's an FXRS. No, I would do it without the, the fairing for sure. Yeah, I mean without the fairings, that look nice. Um, talking about that, let's talk about let's talk about old bikes because I feel like I feel like a lot of people now are a lot of people are buying older bikes now. Yeah. Well, Not necessarily like just uh, FXRs, but a lot of people are looking for older Dynas and. Dinos, and stuff like soft that. Tails, even baggers, because with the supply chain issues and getting the new bikes, the new bikes are so damn expensive, and half the time the dealer doesn't have what you want anyway. So they have some, they have a better use selection than they have a new selection. Yeah, there, there there is they, a lot of used bikes out there in the market. Yeah, like when we we go into Bergen and it's like tons and tons of used bikes. Yep, a lot of used bikes. Good stuff too. Stuff. Yeah, Good stuff. clean clean stuff. Yeah, so if, if you're if you're like right now looking into the market, and you're looking for a used bike, like I, right now there's there's just, there's a lot of them out there, man. And to to get market to buy a used bike, I mean prices are still higher in used bikes right now as well. There was there were before. They're a lot every, higher now. Everything has higher. gone up, but I, I feel like there's like it's just a lot more in the market right now than there was before. Well, a lot more people are selling because the prices have gone up. People were sitting on bikes, sitting in the garage for 10, 15 years, 20 years, and they're like, oh, well, what's the dealer gonna give me two grand? I might as well keep it. Yeah. Now the dealer's offering them a lot more money, or they know they see what the dealers are selling them for, and they're like, I can sell my bike for that much. Yeah. And that, I mean, and there, is, there also is that that uh, that big group of people that actually are looking to buy brand new bikes. They, they don't really care about the price. Yes, yeah. are, are Harley's expensive? Yes, they yes. are expensive, you know, but it is what it is. But there, a lot of people, want new harley davidson's i have a new one you had you have a new one you you, you got your low rider s mm -hmm. you know so i mean everybody always wants a brand new harley um a lot yeah, who people, doesn't want a brand new harley who know? doesn't right but uh, you know but even as a secondary or third bike like right now like i feel like the used market is like where is that right now we can find something really good 
because of what you said. People are trading up because they get the, mm -hmm. they get top dollar now for their used bikes, and you know, and there's a lot of inventory out there, a lot of good stuff. Yeah, I've seen quite a few. I saw a nice, a really nice clean 03 anniversary, like with 1,600 miles on it, original Dino Y Glide, the custom Harley. Uh, uh what? An 03? 03. So the, the twin cam motor on that is is a yeah, so is an anniversary. Wheels, those wheels are off anniversary low right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a special, man. Yeah. You special, know. just like the rider. <laughs> <laughs> Now you had, um, in the past year, you had a few used bikes that you went through. Year and a half. Year and a half, yeah. You had the Night Train? 99 Night Train with the Evo. Yeah, last year the Evo on that. You had uh, the Road King? 2004 Road King with a 95 inch kit. That bike I should have definitely held on to. You had the Indian? I had the Indian, 2000 Indian Chief, yeah. And then you had the... Uh, V-Rod. The V-Rod. Your favorite. That's the one I, I hated. I hate it. 2002 V Rod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, you, you bought all those bikes, you sold them. Is there one bike that you regret selling that you wish you kept? I kind of regret a couple of them, but the, the Road King would be the top of the list. Yeah? I thought your Night Train was. Yeah, yes and no. Actually, the Road King was like the one I rode the most. Yeah. Because I didn't even ride my Street Glide, and I was riding that all the time. Yeah, that, that Road King was nice. I always tell you, like, if you end up keeping that Road King down the line for some reason, like, I might buy that off you later on. It was yeah. clean, right? It was, well, the, the problem was, I would have kept all of them and bought the Pan America, but my wife was like, no loans or whatever, and we're doing, you know, if you're going to get that bike, you need to get rid of at least two bikes. Yeah. So I said, okay, and then she was in shock because she didn't think I was going to say get rid of the V-Rod and the... Road King. She, like, she really didn't think at all. She, she thought by saying that I was going to be like, okay, I won't get anything. Kind of wish I would have listened to her because the whole Pan America thing was a disaster. Yeah, and and, and I know you still, uh, you still have that salty taste in your mouth about that. I have the baddest taste in my mouth I've ever had in my life from that bike. <laughs> and that was a bike I like loved too. Like, I know. I loved. And now I can't even look at them. I just like, uh. You crap out of some folks? What? You cry about it sometimes? No, I don't cry about <laughs> it, but it just, it just pisses me off. You cry a little, a little bit about it. No. No? No, no crying. Mm. No bit. more tears, no. No more tears, so you did. <laughs> 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 All right, so let me ask you a question real quick. Uh, if, if you had to, because I know we always ask each other this all the time. If you had to buy one brand new bike right now, what would it be? And if you had to buy one used bike, what would it be? Like, okay, so let's start with the used one first. I would say either I'm gonna give you two, but it's basically the same. They're similar. '97 Bad Boy Springer or '97 Heritage Springer. Hmm. Those are good choices. Yeah, the bad boy I've always wanted ever since it came out. I had one on order back in '97, black. Yeah, with bad the boy is pretty cool. And uh, my girl, my girlfriend, talked me out of it at the time, and I listened to her, which was stupid. Hardy has come out with so many cool bikes in the past, and they're just, they're just they got rid of them, and I was like, damn, like that was such a cool bike. That was a cool bike. That was a cool bike. Yeah, but you know, if you look at the sales on these cool bikes, even these bikes, they didn't sell. Yeah, I mean, you know. So when stuff doesn't sell. Yeah. They feel like the FXDR. They came out with that and everybody's like, uh, oh, and like not even two years, it's gone. I mean, I hated that bike. Yeah. That bike came out, I hated it. But it, it looked kind of cool. <sighs> but it was very impractical and I don't, you know. But I was saying, like some things, you know, everything comes out a couple of years. Like one of my favorite all-time bikes is the, uh, the 1977 XLCR Cafe Racer, the Sportster or whatever. Yeah, that thing is beautiful. But that was another one, didn't sell, two years. Yeah. And I, and I, you know you know what it was with that one? I think that one was ahead of its time. Because yeah. because if that bike would have came out late eighties, it would have sold like well crazy. with an Evo engine, oh yeah. But the engine like was crazy. crap in there and it was a shovel. It was a shovel iron head, yeah, yeah, iron head, yeah. Iron. Yeah. But it, it it was the design of it, everything was ahead of its time. If it was in the eighties, I think that bike would have definitely sold really well. Yeah. So new bike, what would it be? If I had to walk into a dealer right now and buy a new bike Again, it'd be either an ultra, ultra lim, uh, what you call, it? an ultra limited, or a road glide ultra. 
with all the shit. Tour pack, rack, everything, all, you know, all blacked out too. And then you wanted to pursue too? Oh uh, yeah, I thought you were talking about just Harley. No, anything, it could be any, any bike. Oh no, Indian Pursuit. Indian yeah, Pursuit would Indian be your Pursu first pit? Yeah, that would definitely be my first pit. Yeah. Yeah, the Pursuit, but I thought you were talking about Harleys. If it had to be a Harley? Then it would probably be an Ultra. Probably maybe, I, I'm leaning towards Ultra Road Glide, but I'd have to ride my wife, because she hates that Road Glide fairing, but maybe it was just the bike that I have. Hmm. It's good picks. Yeah. So I'd say fixed fairing bike for a new bike. I don't know what you pick new. New and used. Yeah. Go new bike first. New bike first. Um. I don't know, man. For me, it's tough. Indian Challenger. <laughs> I mean, I, I love the Challenger. I think the Challenger is pretty dope. Um, yeah, because this because it's harder for us because it's an addition to what we have. It's not yeah just that bike. It's yeah, yeah. the thing, the thing is I have the low rider S yeah. and I got the uh, the roll glide. Yeah. So it's like, what else do I need? Like what? sport bike? No hell no. Naked? No no no. Honestly, if if I had to pay something and something that's not in my garage or not, and if it was out new, if Hardy came out with the Bronx, oh yeah, I'd pick that. Yeah, I'd pick the. We Bronx. said that from day one that we buy that bike. Yeah, I'm a little leery now because of the whole Rev Max problems, but yeah. And then I don't know if 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 I had to get a used bike. It would, uh, I don't know. It, it'd probably be another FXR. Would it? I figured you'd say Deluxe or Road King and Cholo. No. Nah. No? No Cholo? No, no, no. It, it, would, it would probably be a... Yeah, it'd probably be like a, a full FXRP. Like, like a, really? Yeah. It's like we're on the same bike. No, but it's, it would be like an actual, actual police bike. I don't know. You know, like a full FXRP, like that, that would be mine. I would buy a used police Road King. Yeah. Yeah, especially if it's got the, the Milwaukee 8 in it. For Harleys. If it, if it was like anything out there, like... Yeah, anything out if, there. If you it, said anything out there. Uh, if, if it would be for the anything out there option, uh, cruiser-wise, um, I'd probably go Challenger. Indian yeah. Challenger. For the new bike, you're saying? Yeah, for the new bike. Indian yeah. Challenger. And the used bike, you still would go with FXRP? Yeah. All right. Use bikes, new bikes. If you guys are in the market, or if you are looking for a used bike, what used bike are you looking for? What's your dream bike, used bike? Or if you have a really cool used bike in your garage, what is it? Just drop your comments down below. We kind of want to, kind of want to hear what you got to say. Yeah, what everybody's looking that. for and stuff, and what they're into. Because yeah. everybody's got their dream Harley. Like for me, when I started on Harleys, it was a uh, you know. Like the 1986, 87, like the soft tail custom with the king, king, uh, king, queen C, you know, rake with the 21 inch wheel. I know you said when you were first into Harleys when you were a kid, Dyna Wide Glide. Dyna Wide Glide, yeah. Yeah, so everybody's got their one bike they're looking the, the for. Dyna Wide Glide was a bike that was like, oh, yeah, that bike. Yeah. Yeah, mine was a soft tail custom. Then. That's what kind of like drove me into Harley, honestly. And I actually bought a soft tail custom. It was my first big twin I bought after my sports years. Yeah. Yeah, but like I said, everybody's got that one when you're a kid, you're like, ooh, you know. Well, you know, even though you hate my bike. Don't hate your bike. I said as long as you love it, that's all that matters. I'll take that, man. Um, and catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Peace. I can't believe you said you hate my bike, man. I didn't hate